Just because all of this art exploded because of marketing, because I loved marketing, you know, I never dreamt that I would have all of this. I never went to school for business. I went to school to be an artist. At one point this season in 2019, they were selling more than we were able to make. I find it very stressful I, because I'm so involved in making sure that the brush strokes are right because every artist wants to make their painting perfect. Now my paintings will never be perfect because they're never done. I had to literally abandon them I think what really helped me uh, was Bell's Florida. I was already popular, you know, with the internet. I embraced the internet because it was free and I looked at it as a free marketing tool. Really with Bell's coming on board, that's afforded us the opportunity to pay off some of our big debts. On top of that, she's a doer. She's constantly wanting to get herself out there. So she's booking herself cruises. She's doing tours. When they take something in my home, whether it's a piece from uh, Bell's Florida or something here from the gallery or one of the other galleries that I have, whether it be an original or a print or reproduction of some kind, I want it to be good. First off, I love Leoma's work. You can't help but be happy when you see it. And then you wanted the other one. So this it doesn't is gorgeous. matter. It doesn't matter. So, and I call this a Miss America. When we come down from Idaho, where we've spent the last 40 years, we didn't have a vehicle other than my husband's big old Ford pickup truck. And I saw that little white Jeep and I thought, that's, that's just what I need is a beach buggy. And then I will make it my beach buggy. And so I chased down Leoma and asked her if it would be possible to have some of her art on my little Jeep. Well, it looks adorable, <laughs> just adorable. This is Anne and my new BFF, by the way. Yes, and this Jeep is Miss Leoma. She has this wide scope of talent. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, You. Ha I have to paint, and it doesn't even have to be good. I just like the feel of paint in my hands, on the brush, and just covering a surface. And I am not, uh, what do they call it, a true a purist. I am not a purist when it comes to art. The only thing that I am a purist about is, is the quality of paint that I use and what I use to paint on. Because you never know when you're going to make your next masterpiece. And I handle most of her contracts, but not all of her contracts really, uh, for licensing her art, etc. And she's a prominent artist, and I would say uh, the biggest artist of Bell's, and certainly for the women's lines, uh, her artwork is supreme. I've always been able to make a living at art. Uh, well, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> and plus, I have thousands of pieces that nobody has even seen. I paint all the time. It's because she's an artist, and with that creative genius comes that wild, over-the-top, kind of everywhere, Leoma, if you come in the gallery, you're very disruptive because all of a sudden, all the crowd is over here and then they're like on me. She knows how to create uh, an ambience or a story behind it to make it where it's sellable. If I never paint it again, I have enough art, but I love to paint. And my mission is to keep painting, but I do like to market. I went on a cruise and I wore my love grove and everywhere I went people were commenting on my love groves. So I never really invented the coconut postcard, it was invented during World War II. But what I did, I uh, made some up, sent them over to Walt Disney World and gosh we've been selling coconut postcards uh, to them for over 25 years. I went up to visit Congressman Rooney, hopefully you'll get a chance to speak with him also. And I went into his office, it was her work that was prominently displayed. The people up in Washington who I've shown uh, Leoma's work, other congressmen and senators, when they come by the office and I explain to them that we have a very conservative, patriotic, defend America, Republican artist here, they love it. I was a big uh, Trump 
uh, supporter from the minute he announced. I went, I got my leather jacket, I put Trump logo on it, 2016, and that's a you know big bold jacket. And when I use red paint, I just don't use red paint. I use neon red paint. Well, I think it's brave. Uh, I think Leoma tells us uh, unapologetically how she feels and that she believes she's right about how she feels. And uh, I think that's, you know, one of the things I love about her. I love to give. I love that my art can make money and, you know, and make thousands of dollars for our local firemen or for autism or for breast cancer. You know, the hard part for me was realizing how serious this was. You know, I, we, I think Liam and I both were in denial for maybe two or three months. You know, we just didn't want to believe it. I was diagnosed uh, with stage four breast cancer, and that's what it is. And it's hard to say that. I mean, to this day, I've been working on this for about a year now. I, I, it's hard to say it. It came as a shock. I mean, a genuine shock. But instead of crippling um, herself, she turned around and it was like a shot of espresso in her arm. I feel good about my treatments and i am got a positive attitude. She was going to rage, quote, against the dying of the light, and she was going to use it in her artwork to get something positive out of this and really went forward. And I think the battle inside herself was reflected in the battle outside herself. You never know what tomorrow brings, and I just want to leave. I just don't want to stop everything. I could, if I could leave it for the good, maybe it'll help, help cancer. And that's another motivating factor for us to kind of get away from all the the busyness of the, the business. And I've got people that love me, but what's really neat is I have an army of prayers, and I know that will get me through. There's nothing more powerful than prayer, especially when it comes to cancer. You know, there's a lot of people who paint in this sort of style, but like Pollock, there was only one person who got it right. And Leoma's artwork sings. There's something about the color, there's something about the life, the vitality, it all comes together. And it looks fantastic. You, you don't see the parts, the different colors, the mixed media, whatever it is. You see the whole image. Spend our winter down here just being happy and loving being on Matt Lachey and loving, knowing Leoma, she's just an incredible, incredible person. And so that has been an extra special blessing for me. I've always wanted my art to appeal to the general public. I want people to feel good. It can be meaningful, but I really just want people to feel good when they look at my art. In fact, my tagline, if I was ever gonna have a tagline, it would be that I paint for the good. I don't see why we should have to turn it off. If anything, instead of scaling down, I'd like to scale up.